the whole time you're awake, you're working, right? And over the course of weeks, and then th those weeks turn into months, right? Maybe you go through a winter season or whatever, and you're, you're, it's been six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 13 months or whatever. It's, it, it really kind of depends on a person's like tolerance for um, being able to, to do that, like just to hang in there for that long and, and stay sane, right? This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. This video is sponsored by Adjuster Pro. Use code Adjuster TV at checkout and get licensed right now at adjustertv.com slash licensing. So now you had asked me question or a question kind of um, previously about burnout. And I'm curious because you just got back from doing a little short hike on the, the AT, right? So did yeah. that, what did that do to your like sense of well being and that kind of helping with that burnout feeling or did it even help at all? good yeah um i came back and it's kind of strange to not all as soon as i got back i expected to just be going 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 again and it's after the storm so everything's kind of slowed down so it's been it's been definitely really really helpful i got to think about what i want to do this coming year and get excited about going to NACA. I'm super excited about going to NACA. Oh my gosh. But uh, yeah, figure out exactly, you know, who I want to contact, what I want to do this year, and maybe what I want to get better at for sure. I have some strange struggles that I need to work on. So it's given me time to think about all that while I was listening to the birds chirp and looking at the mountain views and hiding from bears. <laughs> cool experience. Right on. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Okay. Well, so, so yeah, so, you know, burnout is one of those things that, you know, especially for people who are watching this, who may not have maybe haven't been on a storm before, haven't done like claims or been like deployed to do something with, with claims as an independent adjuster. And, and really what happens with us is that we are, when we, when we're working, we're like working, you know, 10 o'clock at night, seven days a week. Right. And we started probably at six or seven o'clock in the morning. Right. So oh, yeah seven to sevens, that's 12 hours. And then you go to 10 o'clock or even midnight, that's, oh, yeah. you know, 16, 17, 18 hours, right? Mm -hmm. Every single day. And, day. and that's where, you know, especially if you're, if, if a person is struggling with their, their learning the workflow, how to like get this stuff done and have like a, a really good schedule and like really good time management, which is honestly, it's not something that you just like have or don't have. It's a skill that you, a person can learn, I believe. And I've taught it to yeah. people. Um, but you're still, you're still making like the most of like the whole time you're awake, you're working, right? And over the course of weeks and then th those weeks turn into months, right? Maybe you go through a winter season or whatever and you're, you're, it's been six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 13 months or whatever. It's, it, it really kind of depends on a person's like tolerance for, um, being able to, to do that, like just to hang in there for that long and, and stay sane, right? Um, so for, as far as burnout goes, I mean, if, if you're working for a firm and you are, you've distinguished yourself immediately, like early on, um, and, but they're only working in two states. I, I've heard other people talk about this. They're like, well, I'm working for this really small firm and they only do the Carolinas. I'm, I'm only in, you know, these two states or this one state. And they're just, I'm just one end of the state to the other every single day, all the time. Um, mm -hmm. And they keep me busy. I can't like, it's like they don't have anybody else, right? Which in, in some cases, yeah. maybe they don't because they don't have they a don't. lot of attention. Yeah. Um, they're, they're, they're too small to really kind of get the kind of attention that like a pilot catastrophe or Crawford or Alacrity right. or something like that gets, right? So you, they're gonna use you until you say uncle, basically. Um, you said uncle at some point, Right. I don't know. Did your deployment end or did you just say, I got to take a break? Um, so I called them and I was just kind of fishing around to see if they'd freak out. And I said, oh, I was just wondering if maybe by chance in the next couple of weeks I could take some time off. And they said, well, how many days? And I said, 10. And <laughs> I got texts from the admin. I got texts from the managers little tiny man anybody involved and yeah. they're like are you sure you need to go and it was like i cried over a file review yesterday i have to go yeah and so they they were fine with it you know and it, i came back early so that worked out well for them and they didn't even say welcome back they just sent me some claims i was like thanks guys 
Thanks for asking <laughs> well, me how it went or if I had right, right. or any of it, you know? Yeah, but and I think that's something, and I'm sure you you understand this, but for again, for people watching who may not get this, it's like, okay, the independent adjuster, you know, you're like the, the tip of the spear, right? So you're out there doing the claims and you're the, your production is, is the thing that's important. But your yeah. manager's production and your manager's manager's production and the company's relationship with the, their carrier clients, all that stuff. So that pressure comes all yeah. the way down through all those people in, into the into the independent to the adjuster who's out in the field or doing remote or whatever it is. And so right. it's that their biggest concern is, well, boy, I sure wish I could take a break, right? But you know, if she's yeah. got to go, she's got to go. Fine. Let me know the second you get back, and I'll just start piling claims on you again, right? right. And that's I think that's pretty much the treatment that everybody gets every, really at any company. So I wouldn't say that this, you know, that that's a, a defect of who you work for, certainly, because, you know, anybody else is going to do that. Like, hey, we just, somebody's got to do the work. You know, if you're back, let's let's get you back in the, in the queue. If you want to watch the rest of this episode where I answer other questions ad-free, as well as get access to a members only segment question and answer, head on over to adjustertvplus.com and become a member right now.